Now, this is an excerpt of my story I wrote called Art of a Son's Love. <clears throat> when Sunset and Noble got home, he kindly sent her to a room just to have a talk with Icy Heart, as there are things he shouldn't say in front of his little girl. I see, Noble said calmly, with a hint of anger in his voice. We need to talk. His wife was on the couch reading a book at the time, and she scowled and she looked up. What? That was when her husband exploded with anger. I told you a million times to stop bullying our daughter, he roared. She does not deserve to be treated like garbage. Icy Heart was rather startled by her husband's outburst. She had never known him to be so angry. Robert had responded in kind, or unkind in this case. Her response was rather calm, perhaps a bit too calmly. I am merely trying to stop her from destroying our marriage, she said. Destroy our marriage? Noble was most indignant. Sunset never destroyed our marriage. She added love to it. Ever since she was born, said Icy Heart, you basically pushed me aside and focused your attention on Sunset. Before she was born, I was the world to you. That's why I didn't want to be a mother in the first place. Noble Shield was shocked. He knew his wife could be temperamental, but selfish. That was crossing the line. That's not true, yelled Noble. I cared both for our daughter and you. I wanted the both of us to be happy with a family all of our own, but now I can see why people avoid you. You're basically a monster. That's their problem, snapped Icy Heart. All we have to do is get rid of the kid, and it'll be just you and me again the way it was supposed to. Tell it to the police, snapped Noble Shield. You will never bully my daughter again. Noble left the room. Noble left the room, fuming at his wife's ignorance. What he didn't know was that Sunset had heard everything from outside the room. Now she knew why Icy Heart hated her and couldn't believe what she'd heard. Not wanting to stick around any longer, she quickly ran up to her room and closed the door, leaning back on it fearfully. I need to get out of here, she said to herself. She went to her drawers and took out some clothes and put them in a bag. After she packed up what she knew was essential, clothes, toothbrush, hairbrush, you name it, she frantically ran down the stairs and ran to Noble. Sunset, he asked, what are you doing? I'm running away from my mom, she cried. She wants to get rid of me to be happy. Noble realized that Sunset had overheard his fight with Icy Heart. Sunset, come with me to your room. Sunset wasn't sure if she wanted to, but she did anyway. What if she tried to beat me up or worse? She asked nervously once in her room. Sunset, dear, I promise you that you will not suffer from her abuse any more soon enough, Noble said kindly. I'll be there to protect you. This made Sunset feel better, so she went and gave her father a big hug. I love you, Daddy, she said. I love you too, Sunset, said her father, returning the hug. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>